Well, hello, wonderful friends on Facebook. It's me, log on. What a world of difference I'm noticing. And I've been here many times. I've been to LA many, many times. I mean, many times. Business, pleasure, all of that. But I'm taking note of something. I'm going down some stairs, make sure I don't fall. I'm taking note of something that I had never noticed before. There are so many different communities and cultures of people here. I've never noticed that before. Never noticed that. So what a difference. What a difference. A world of difference. A world of difference. So we are at the Hollywood Mall. You know, there's really not too much um, <laughs> that they have that we don't have except sun all year long, right? But I want to talk to us today about making a difference, making an impact on your world, making an impact on your environment, making an impact in your family, making an impact wherever God sends you, making an impact. There are several reasons why I'm here over these next few days but a part of it is because God allowed me to make an impact on someone years ago God established a friendship with someone years ago and because of that friendship because of that impact I'm here this weekend I'm here visiting my beautiful niece she happened to move here what three months ago and she's the most beautiful girl in the world. This is my Chanel. Oh my God. <laughs> That's my baby. That's my Chanel. And you know, I have my, she's my second oldest niece. But it is so important that lives we touch. You don't even know how many people, people that you will encounter today at the grocery store, at Walmart, at Kroger's at the mall, at the gas station, that you could have a powerful impact on their life simply by saying hello, simply by acknowledging their presence, simply by giving someone a hug today, telling someone God loves them, make an impact on someone's life today. Years later, years later, it could come back and be a blessing and a reward to you. Develop, if you can, strong relationships. Maybe that doesn't happen. Uh, in the parking lot at Walmart, right, or at the gas station. But it is important that God, we recognize that God has put each of us in this earth to make an impact. We each have a sphere of influence, a sphere of influence. And it is important that we allow God to use us in any way that he chooses. A world of difference. There are so many people here from all different walks of life, all nationalities. So, how have you impacted the world? That someone you encountered 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you are still in connection with them that when they're in need, they'll call upon you to fulfill the need on the other side of the country. When they're about to celebrate a major change in their life, they want you to be there, or God sets it up that you can be there. We need to all, I think, make a choice to say, I want my life to matter. You know, I always say, uh, live out your hyphen, and reminding each of us, your hyphen starts at the moment you're born into this world. So my hyphen started at 1967. And so it's important that we live out our hyphen and that we impact not only our family, we certainly wanna be a positive influence on our children and our spouses and our siblings. And if we can, our parents are certainly you as a parent, but choose to impact someone's life. Today. There's someone on your job. There's probably someone on your job that needs a positive word from you. And you can impact their life and years later, they're reaching out to you to say, you know what you said that day on September the 2nd, 
2016 changed my life. It impacted me. It caused me to take a different road. And so, choose today to be an impact. You, you, say me, whatever your name is. Hey, Sister Murdoch. Hey, Sister Madison. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Tracy. And all those others who have logged in to hear and to listen. Today, today. Say, who can I influence today? Who can I make a world of difference? Or just by saying something to them, I will make a world of difference in their life. It's possible. God wants to use you. Little old you. Little old you. And so I thank God for those of you who um, have encouraged me in this assignment this weekend and encouraged me um, in moving forward in purpose and in destiny. And there are some great things to come. I got a call today from someone regarding a vision and a business opportunity that I've been working on. And it is major, it is major. Oh my God, it is major. And I know it's from God, do you hear me? I know it's from God, because I couldn't have been this smart to think of this. And so to have that call to say, yeah, let's meet on Tuesday. And the doors that it could open, the doors it will open in Jesus' name. All because I made an impact on someone that I saw in a hotel lobby. Do you hear me? I saw in a hotel lobby and that person happened to work for someone I had been trying to get in contact with and I sent an email to and I happened to, y'all know how God does it, happened to run into one of uh, his staff members in a hotel lobby and I happened to say, do you work for such and such? And he was like, actually, I do. That's my boss. Look at God. Absolutely, Sister Dora, Dora, Doris, Porter. Yes, favor. And God lining up things. Don't grow weary in your well-doing. There is a due season if you faint not. God will line up. He will order your steps. You just keep asking him, what is your, is today my day? Is today my day to have impact? Is today my day of change? Is today my day of favor? Is today my day to receive the reward of my doing well for my well-doing? Amen. Amen. Be encouraged. Yeah, he placed it in my lap. He really did. And I'm going to walk into it in full glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Expecting God to do great things from this one opportunity that could, that will open many, many other opportunities. So, a world of difference, a world of difference can be made just by you saying hello to someone in the lobby, by you encouraging a team, by you establishing a friendship 30 years ago, by you having awesome nieces who and nephews who step out on faith and because they step out on faith, when you fly to California, <laughs> you got a place to stay. Hallelujah. And ain't got to spend a whole bunch of money on a hotel. So we love the Lord today. And I just encourage you. I encourage you. Choose to make a difference in someone's life today. The world awaits you. The world awaits you. The world awaits you. The world. The world. The world awaits you. Be encouraged today. God has great things, great things in store for you. And it's coming your way and it's going to fall right into your lap. You just let God. I remember, let me say this and I'm going to end. That day that I was in the lobby of that hotel, I was meeting someone else about business and I was so tired and they had pushed the meeting back, pushed the meeting back. And they were like, can you meet me at eight o'clock or seven o'clock? And I was like, oh my God, I'm just Okay, I'm going to meet you. Had I not gone, I would not have ran into that young man who knew the person, worked for the person that I've been trying to get in contact with. And because of that, I followed up with emails. And today, hey, Brittany. That's my niece, Brittany. And I'm here with Brittany's sister, Chanel. And because of that, I now have a meeting with him on Tuesday. And so we just believe God for what he's going to do. I know it is the will of the Lord for this opportunity to be mine. It is, it, it is me. And so I love the Lord today and make a difference in someone's life. Be an encouragement to someone. Tell somebody they can do it. Tell somebody they are fearfully and wonderfully made. Tell somebody God has a great plan for them. Tell them that Jesus would have died just for them, just for them. Encourage someone today. Make a difference in someone's life today. Build strong relationships. 
You never know. It might take you to LA. Hallelujah. It might take you to other sides of the world, you let alone other sides of the country. Be encouraged today. God loves you and he has a great and outstanding plan for you because you were born with purpose. And now it's time to move towards it and watch life. Watch life. Take on a course towards a magnificent destiny. God bless you. I will talk to you later. Hey, look at the bubbles. I love bubbles. I love bubbles. I love rainbows. I love anything rainbowish. And I also love, um, um, what is that other thing I was getting ready to say? Rainbows, bubbles, and um, fireworks. Fireworks. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Richard. So we love the Lord today. We are in LA. We are in Hollywood. Can y'all see the Hollywood sign? Can y'all see it? So we are here in LA. And like I said, I've been to LA, I can't even tell you how many times, on business pleasure, hanging out with uh, my friend girl who's getting married tomorrow. Um, I've been here, but for some reason, this time is making a world of difference in my life. Purpose, purpose awaits you. Destiny is pursuing you. Get in line with God and run after it. Amen. God bless you. I'll keep in touch with you. Y'all, I got on tennis shoes. No, right? <laughs> Amen. Can you believe it? All right. Talk to you guys later. I'm going to sit down with my beautiful Nellie Poo while she eats her ice cream. Can they see you now? This is my Nellie. Hi. Say hi to my Nellie Poo. <laughs> hi. <laughs> She's the most beautiful girl in the world. All my babies are beautiful. Hallelujah. Brittany's on. Brittany, say hi to your sister. You get hey. to see her. I just, <laughs> I don't, I just want to eat this. <laughs> she want to eat her ice cream before it melts. All right, guys. Love you. We'll keep in touch. See you on the next sign-in. Bye-bye.